Welcome back to Hangzhou and the famous Lingying Temple, a Buddhist temple located in the northwest of Hangzhou. The Yin translates into Temple of the Souls Retreat, a beautiful area. One of the largest Buddhists in uh, te Buddhist temples in China. Numerous pagodas in the area. Buddhist grottoes, very famous with the tourists here in Hangzhou. So after that thrilling women's singles a match, we turn our attention now to men's singles. In fact, the next two matches are men's singles. And um, first up, we've got the number one seed, Kodai Naraoka, who's lost both of his group matches so far, but could still qualify. It's mathematically possible. And he's up against the number three seed and former champion, Shi Uchi of China. Well, this is how things stand at the moment. And yes, Kodai Naraoka is a bottom of the list at the moment. Uh, but he needs to win, and it all depends what happens with uh, Victor Axelsson against Anthony Ginting. Uh, that match will be played on the adjoining court. Uh, but uh, the first thing for uh, the number one seed to do, Kodan Araoka, is concentrate on trying to win this match uh, against the 2018 winner. Chi Wu Chi. So here is the number one seed, Kodai Naraoka of Japan, making his second consecutive appearance at the World Tour Finals. In Bangkok last year, he reached the semi-final stage where he lost Victor out to the eventual Axelson champion, Victor Xi Axelson, Xi. in three thrilling games. But listen to the re reaction of the fans as Shi Uchi is announced into the arena. Won the title in Guangzhou. Five years ago, beating... Kento Momoto in the final. So, as far as Shi Uchi is concerned, well, he's won one a match and he's lost one match. So things become very complicated in this group. This will be an 11th meeting between the two, and Shi Uchi has won six of the previous ten, including the semi-final at the... Asian so receive. games. Receive. You still Shi Uchi then lost the final of the Asian Games, so ended up with a silver medal. So we actually have the silver against the bronze medalist from the Asian Games. Kodai Naraoka is 22 years of age, finished the year ranked one, hence his number one seeding for the World Tour Finals. The race to the World Tour Finals is slightly different to the World Tour a ranking and you can see that he is playing off his career high in fact three days ago he went up one place to his career high of two on the world ranking on wednesday he lost to anthony sinisuka ginting having been 17 12 up in the deciding game lost nine of the last 10 points and then yesterday lost to the defending champion Victor Axelson in two straight games, a very one-sided second game. So to Shi Uchi, who's 27 years of age, from Nangtong in Jiangsu province, and he's a tall man, 183, that's about six foot tall. He, like his opponent, has been as high as number two on the world rankings, currently seven. Uh, but as far as qualifying for these World Tour finals, he finished the World Tour on the race to uh, this competition at number three, hence his number three seeding at this particular event. 
52 weeks in total as world number two. And he started uh, this competition in wonderful form on Wednesday, beating Victor Axelsson in two straight games and then losing to Ginting yesterday, having won the opening game. Uh, so won one and lost one as far as Xiu Qi is concerned. So our court officials for this Ready one. Ready to play. And this is uh, Sidhu Bave of India and Sven Suri of Belgium is the service judge. Won his first ever World Tour a title, did Kodai Naraoka. We're looking at Shiyu Chi at the moment. Shiyu Chi, incidentally, the only men's singles player in the World Tour finals not to have won a World Tour title this year. This man won the last qualifying event. And that was, of course, the China Ladies Masters in Shenzhen. On my right. Yuji, China. And on my left, Kodai Naroka, Japan. Kodai Naroka to serve. Level. Play. So the number one seed, Kodai Naroka getting this Group One, A up. match underway against the former champion, Xiu Qi. Xiu Qi, incidentally, one of three former winners in this year's World Tour Finals. Of course, Victor Axelsson, I've already mentioned him. And the third one, of course, was Anna's Antonsen. Oh, my goodness, that went under the net. In fact, I'm not even Seven sure four. it reached as far as the net. One off. Well, not only did Shi Yu Chi win the last encounter between these two, he's won the last two times that they played in the Asian Games. Match here in Hangzhou was 21 5, 21 15. His time, Xiu Chi, before unleashing the winner. Yeah, and these two players have actually played each other seven times this year, which is quite a lot for two players to have met. And this year alone, Narioka's actually 4 3 up, but as you said, the last two have gone to Xiu Chi. And they have such a contrasting styles of play. Explain that a little more, Chris. So I'd say Narioka, is, he has got the best defence uh, for a men's singles player in the world, but he's a very uh, patient player. Very, he, he likes a long rally. He'll work his opponent, he'll open up the court. I wouldn't say necessarily he's got the same kind of weapons as most of the other top 10 men's singles players, but he knows that, so he has to work the rally more than they do to get through. 
Whereas Shiyuchi, he's got, you know, phenomenal speed and attack. He's a lot more aggressive. Uh, maybe not quite as aggressive as someone like Li Shi Feng, who's incredibly aggressive and dangerous overhead, but very different to Narioka. Definitely say with Narioka's playing style, he, he is incredibly patient. He is more than happy to almost elongate the rally to make sure that the opening is correct for him. Patient and defensive. He's yep. more of a reactive player rather than a proactive player. a lovely block on the defence from Naraoka. It's interesting, Chris, because these two players, in, in many ways, yes, contrasting styles, were very similar in that, you know, they've both been as high as number two in the world ranking, one's currently number two, both been silver medalists at world championships, both been in two world tour tournament finals this year, so uh, Naraoka has obviously won one of them. So. You know, on paper, this is a fascinating encounter. Definitely, and it's almost, you know, it can be more exciting when you have two players that do play a totally different style of play. And we I saw agree. then, it was a great attack from Shiuji, but the quality of Narioka when he's in trouble on his defense, and this is like his superpower, as it were, his, his shot quality when he's in adversity is very, very impressive. But he kind of does, he forces you to play that bit tighter and then he forces his opponent into, a, into an error. Yeah, and, and that's simply because he gets so much back yep. that you, you think if I'm going to hit a winner against him, I've got to hit the line. Yep. Someone in men's doubles that was similar, but not as to this kind of defensiveness, Leon Day, you know, his defense was so exceptional that Often players would try and do something even better, even better, until that unforced error came. Sometimes resembled playing a wall. Yeah. Incredible pick up there from Narioka. so well incredible pickup throughout that rally and then when he gets a chance slightly short lift good attack but he was very patient to wait for that correct opening on this rally so far Seven, three. 
missed it. Yeah, that's a prime example of what you were talking about, Chris. No feeling he's got to go for the line. Yeah, and this is the, the problem for some of his opponents. We've seen probably four cheap-ish unforced errors from CUG in the, where he's in an okay situation. He's not off balance, he's not stretched, he's not in trouble. He's just going for something a little bit too special. Yeah, that's a gift. This is the thing for me with Xiu Qi. He's obviously a phenomenal player, no one can even doubt that. But sometimes, for me, he does go off the boiler fraction and his concentration wavers. I've seen that a few times when he's played Li Shi Feng. He's had a, a good game and then all of a sudden, six, seven, eight points. You know, this is such a quick run of points where it is just mistake after mistake after mistake. Yeah, and this is a, a quick run of points as well, isn't it? It's seven straight points yeah. here. Dakota Naraoka. Oh, my goodness. A little bit of trickery there from Naraoka. And that's long. And made that at eight straight points. For an eight-point advantage here at the mid-game interval of the opening game. Extraordinary run of points from Naraoka. Good one, twenty seconds. Good one, twenty seconds. <laughs> So Sun Jun was the man coaching Shi Yu Chi. And for Naraoka, it was Yosuke Nakanishi and Kodai's father, Hiroshi. Finally stops the run of points. Well, one suspects there's an awful lot of damage done with those eight straight points just before the game interval. There, he's read it. He's read it perfectly. He's so early on that shot. He's just trying to play the perfect shot and then gives the point. So Narioka does do very well. He, he slows the pace of the game down so much that he's then the one that's in control of the rally and he then changes the pace when he desires. When I watched him yesterday, I was talking to Steen about how he... You're right, he slows the game down. You're absolutely right. But he, he lulls opponents into doing the same thing. Yep. Because you were talking at the start of this match and saying very contrasting styles. Xiu Qi is an explosive player. He can play an attacking game. How much attacking game have we seen from Xiu Qi? Hardly any. And the thing is as well, 
when we have in that situation, unfortunately, it's been quite a lot of unforced errors. And, yeah. But it's it's kind of a skill, obviously, that Narioka has because he draws everyone into the pace that he wants to play at. And then he he's the one that decides when to change the pace. And we saw earlier on, we were both slightly surprised by that deceptive cross-court backhand. Kind of a little moment of surprise yeah. for everyone. Yeah. But he's the one that, that does that occasionally to change the pace or change what's happening. Almost catch someone by surprise. A little bit of variation. Oh, well reached. Over the past two days, have you noticed a, a difference in uh, lengthways drift? Steen and I couldn't really work it out. I think it's almost perfect playing conditions. There's always going to be a little bit of drift, isn't there? Especially in a, in a stadium arena this big, because it's, it's a very large arena. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it seems nice out there. And I think they've done well to control it, considering the, the temperature changes that we've had outside. Yeah. Seven. Now this is more of the sort of attacking play we're used to seeing from Shiuchi. And that's the thing there, Shiuchi worked the rally so that Narioka was slightly okay. off balance out of position. So when he played that, that clear, the quality wasn't quite as good and it gave him the opening. Thank you. More left. So it's over. Fourteen. Seven. Fifteen. Seven. Oh, that's found the line. Boy has been going for the lines and he's been missing. That one was perfect. And that might be why Narioka, because I think he had it and he decided to leave it. Yeah, that's nice. He's a very fast mover, is Naraoka. Not back to his deep forehand corner in double quick time. Yeah, and the change of pace he had there was really impressive. And this is what he can do. He can change the pace, but he prefers to almost lull his opponent into a, a slower, more controlled game to give them nothing. That's just wide. Oh, well, he's challenging. Kodai Naraoka challenges. Ball out. I thought it was just wide. And indeed it was. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 9 16. Play.
Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, there was almost, in fact, I think there was a double action there from Shi Chi on the hold and flick. Yeah, fantastic deception from Shi Chi. She's pumping that forehand corner a lot, isn't he? Yeah, in, the, in that rally, Narioka, he had the calmness, he had a short lift. It was kind of half court. Just went for a controlled attack. Good quality drop. You can see the net cord on Narioka's drop there. If he hadn't uh, lost those eight consecutive points, Shi Uchi, from three all in this opening game, I think what a difference that would have made right now. Yeah, and it was I mean, you've, it wasn't just that he lost them. Um, Narooka won so them, of so course. Well. I mean, I'm being a bit harsh there. But, but, there were, you, but you are right, though, because there was quite a lot of cheap, unforced errors. Yes. He, he didn't make Narooka do enough to win the point, and... And this is the thing, because it was early on, gives Naroka that bit to just that breathing space, that little little chance to relax and get himself feeling more comfortable and into the game. And since then, since the break as well, it's almost been point for point. It's been quite a, quite yes. even. Yeah. But, but it's just that big breathing space at the beginning and being 18-12 up as well. And obviously being such a crucial match for both players to try and get through this very exciting group. Yeah. So two points away from the opening game. Kodai Narooka. Four points the deficit. And all of a sudden, it becomes a possibility. And you do have to think if she, if she can just grab another couple of points, will it come into his mind, Narioka, of what you mentioned earlier about that massive comeback in one of his earlier matches in the, uh, in the group that he experienced?
just wide and therefore it's game point opportunities five of them for Kodai Naroka wasn't he playing this attacking style and when we talk about attack it's not always necessary big smashes it's commanding the rallies using angles yeah the most integral thing with an attack if you, yes you can either go with full power but that's sort of the power that's going to surprise them or as you say it's, it's the quality of the shot it's either the steepness or the direction of where you're putting it, the accuracy of the shot. It. You can see in that rally in Arioki, he wanted to inject the pace off the return of serve, a lot more aggressive, a lot quicker on it, and then he got up to that shot, she just forced it a fraction. Oh, called a fault for touching the net. Narioka says, who, me? Let's have another look at that. Here we go. Oh, yes, he did. He did on his... Backswing. Back, on his backswing. Yeah. Great spot by the umpire. That's very sharp umpiring. So three game points have come and gone. Another two remain for Kodo Narooka. Mistakes. 21-18, the opening game to the number one seed. Kodai Naraoka. 26 minutes for the opening game against former champion Shiu Chi. So Kodai Naraoka, one game to the good.
So, Chris, this is obviously a, an absolutely a thrilling group here, Group A, at these World Tour Finals. Have you done all the permutations of what could happen and what people have to do to qualify? I mean, it is a chance. It could even come down to points, which would be exciting for the fans. Um, what has to happen for that? For the points, it would have to everyone. Well, not everyone, but they'd have to be even on games. The three players. It, it's so hard because obviously on the court next to us, we've got Anthony against Victor, which is a very, very different game from the one we're we're currently on. But it, there's there's so much up for grabs. Yeah. Well, the way I've worked it out, if Victor wins his match against Anthony Ginting, and if Kodai beats Xiu Chi, then Kodai unfortunately is out because I think Ginting and Axelson will go through. So, Kodai Naraoka basically has to hope that Victor loses. Well, no, it, it was a, an efficient put away in the end. Look at the quality of that net shot. was to come back and win. Two, three. And if uh, Victor only wins by 2-1, so obviously Chiu Chi having lost the opening game, he, the only way to win is by winning two games to one. And then the three of them would be in the same status, wouldn't they? The, the three would be equal, then it would come down to game difference. Yeah, Victor, Victor lost, Narioka won, then you have three players all with one win. Yeah. And that's where then obviously gets very complicated with if it's and games or points or however it's exactly going to work but if, if other pe uh, players are on the same of something. I mean, if it goes down to points, that's going to be... It, then I think it would go down to points if those three were equal. That's a nice shot by Chi Chi. Chi. And it must be a bit strange because you obviously don't, you don't want to look at the other court. You don't want to have an idea what's going on the other court because you can't change that. That's totally out of your control, but it's hard to not be slightly distracted by what's happening on the other court because that changes your future, yeah. which is a very weird situation to be in because obviously in badminton, traditionally, we don't have that. It's a knockout yeah. where if you win, you go through. If you lose, you go out. Yeah. For the fans, obviously, it's very nice to have the two matches next to each other going on at the same time. Just long. Yeah, that's good judgment. Say we've had an unbelievable yeah. amount of flash. Flashes going off in the crowd. Yeah. Four, three. They do have quite a good device here where they'll shine a, a little laser at the person with a flash just to let them know, please stop. 
Please turn your flash off. Oh, that's a great follow-up by Shi Chi. And that's a really, really well-constructed rally by Shi Chi, just because he's played the full rally. He's waited for the right time. And there, he's got Naraoka in all sorts of trouble. Whereas, I think in the first game, he was almost just forcing it, going for it slightly too early when Naraoka was on balance, and then almost putting himself in trouble or just missing. Challenge here from Maroka. The way she, she was looking after that, I'm not sure he thinks it was in. No, it was well wide. Oh, my goodness me. How on earth was that called in? Thank goodness for the instant review. I think there's visible signs that Xi Yu Chi is trying to up his pace. And I think it's pace of movement rather than pace of shot. That you know, he's he's onto the shuttle much earlier, much quicker. And this is what he can do, he can move quicker than his opponent. We probably haven't seen it enough, but obviously, a lot of energy used doing it, and also when he has tried to do it, I think he's just forced it too much, and that's where the mistakes have come. Wonderful play by Xi Yu Chi. When he plays rallies like that, he looks so good. But the thing is, the amount of energy that he has to use to play that rally is so much more than Narioka because Narioka is the one surviving, but moving at a slightly slower speed and having to move almost slightly less. Okay, thank you. Yes, back on top. Understand completely it is more energy sapping to play this way, but I see it's the only way that yep. she, she can essential. win. Yeah, it's essential. If he if he plays at the space at, sorry, the speed that Narioka wants to play at, you know, Narioka can probably do that for the next five hours. And he's not gonna make many unforced errors. She Uchi is, is kind of now or never, he's got to fully commit if he's gonna get through this group. And it's a big challenge, 38 minutes in, and he's obviously lost the first game.
Oh, that was going wide. Yeah, I agree. Needn he needn't have played that. He's a delightful individual. Chi Chi, have you ever spoken to him, Chris? He speaks well, very Actually, the very only time I've ever spoken to him was when he asked me to take a picture of you, Jim. Oh, did... Yes, that's the only conversation I've ever had when he handed me his camera and instructed me to take a picture of him and you on the bus. I am still looking at doing my photography qualification <laughs> for those occasions <laughs> in the future. That's a nice shot. Incredible lift off that net. That was a tired looking shot by Xi Yu Chi. He seemed to mistime his jump. In fact, I'm not sure he really left the floor. This is the thing, this is what Narioka is kind of a, a king of. He takes everything out of his opponent, he zaps you, he sucks all the energy out of you and gives you nothing. He's so consistent. That is a missed opportunity. That lift from Narooka was woefully short. I do feel like the, the tension's just building in here. Each rally is just so important now because Narioka can just get this gap. You just feel that Xi Yuchi gonna have enough to pull this back. He was threatening Xiu Chi. Yeah, sometimes that is enough. Just yeah. to put your opponent off, they know then they have to play so tight or you're going to be on it. String's gone. Xiu Chi. Yeah, you can tell by the sound of the Incredible shot. Incredible Oh, he's, he's, he's won he's the point from it. He's faulted. He's touched the net again. Narooka. I'm sure it's with his backswing. He lifts the shuttle and then brings his racket back down again and touches the net. Yeah, there's no arguments from his coaches. Incredible control from Xiu Ji with a broken string and singles to end up winning the point. Playing such a tight, loopy net. Oh, indecision costing him dear. Just long of the back line. Good judgment. Narioka did so well to stay in that rally because he was in so much trouble.
So it is the number one seed who has the one point advantage here at the mid game interval of the second game. Kodo Naraoka having also taken the first. So the play resumes here in the second game. Kodai Naraoka with the one point advantage and also one game up. Shi Chi has to find something here. That's just wide. And I just look at the body language of Shi Chi. He looks drained, he looks zapped. too much into his body language, you know, Chris, because I think she, she often looks like this. You know, he looks drained, he, you know, has his head sort of bowed low, uh, you know, and his whole demeanour. But I think that it's not necessarily an indication that he's totally drained and, and struggling physically. I just think it's a signal that he shouldn't personally, that he shouldn't be given to Narioka, because Narioka, yeah. he's coming alive. He, he, he is looking more confident. Oh, I agree. The, you, you should never indicate to your opponent that you're looking tired or you're struggling or whatever. It's tough because when Shiu Chi is trying to inject the pace or change the speed, the, the rhythm of the rallies, just not consistent enough, or if he is, Narioka's finding a way of retrieving. Well, this could be a crucial phase. This is five straight points to Narioka. Oh, I thought that may have been going wide too. Fantastic shot. He needed that, didn't he? After losing five straight points, that's a wonderful angle. Nice. Great pickup. Oh, that was such a tight net shot from Shiu Chi. Did Kodai Naraoka break those strings with that last shot? Yeah. 
with a lift. Yep. It's extraordinary. Yep. Yeah. See, it went right at the very top. He just mishit it, but I think it was spinning the shuttle. It was so close to the tape. Incredible net shots from Xu Chi. And did you notice also that Narrow could touch the net again? This is a thing to watch out for the uh, for the umpires. Yeah. But I bet you half the he wouldn't even realise because sometimes it's such a faint touch that he probably doesn't realise. No. But it's something that's so obviously so important with the rules. It's going wide. And in fact long. Brilliant. What a final shot from Kodai Naraoka. My goodness me. He was being pushed and pulled in that rally. And then suddenly able to intercept. And plays a very accurate winner. I would say that rally almost sums him up. He soaks up his opponent, patiently waits for the chance, and then as soon as he gets that half chance, Plays the space, hits the shot into the gap. Yeah. And that was put 16. away very efficiently by Narooka. That's a good lift. I think this might be the decisive move. Narooka. So the next two points are absolutely crucial. They have to go in the favour of Xi Yu Chi. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Really is now or never.
thought he missed it. It was called in. And Kodai Naraoka has challenged. This is a massive point in the match. Isn't it? Did it clip the line? What was your thought, Chris? So close, I don't know. It did clip the line. Good call, line judge. Brilliant. I know it's physically demanding, but that is what is required from Shi Chi. Uh, it wasn't terribly deep, the lift from Narohoka. One point in it. shot well he's challenging again Good feeling from Xiu Chi's body language. That might have been out. Yeah. I think that's a strong possibility too, Chris. Here we go. No, that's it. Line. So Naraoka has got no challenges left. And the scores are level. 17 all. Such a good comeback from Xiu Chi. Well, we said he, he needed to win the next couple of points. He's won the next four points. And it's given the crowd something really to cheer about and get involved in now. The atmosphere's just gone up a couple of notches in here. Brilliant. You see, that wasn't full power. That was just turning in a downward direction. That's what we were talking about earlier. When we talk about attacking play. Well, this is extraordinary. A run of five straight points to go into the lead, Chi Uchi. Almost seemed to catch Narioka just off guard. Well. 
was a challenge here from Shiu Chi. From the way Shiu Chi challenged in his body language, I'm not sure he totally believes this was this was out. But he tricked me on the last one. No. Yeah, our father's looking a, <laughs> a little bit nervous, isn't he? 18 or... That is absolutely delightful. What a super slow drop shot from Kodai Narooka. Phenomenal deception there. Super body smash. That's pretty much the first body smash I can remember throughout the entirety of this match so far. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. What a rally. And what a way to bring up a game point opportunity. That was sensational. Stadium has really come alive to that. Xiu Chi was controlling the whole rally, but the defence from Narioka was so good. Full commitment on that last kill. Opportunity to send this the full distance. Oh, good net shot. It's just wide. Oh, my goodness. So, game points has gone a begging. 20 all and extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Oh, 
That's superb. Another wonderful angle on the attacking shot from Shiyu Chi. He got right behind that shot, did you, Chi, that final smash? Second game point opportunity to take this second game. That is just ridiculous. Was that a neck cord off a neck cord and then a kill? Yeah, and the quality from how low. Take from down there to have the audacity to play a net when your opponent is stood on the net. Amazing. Utterly amazing. 21 all. The crowd is really being treated today. Third time lucky for the number three seed, Chiu Chi. Third game point opportunity to force a third and deciding game. 66 minutes into the match. And if it does go to three games, what a physical third game it's going to be. Indeed, one game all. 23-21. Stadium one has literally erupted. One game all confirms the umpire. An hour and seven minutes into the match. And we will be treated to a third and deciding game. Okay,抢一抢,就是说,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要,不要
So the umpire calls for the start of this third and deciding game. What a match. Opening game won by uh, Kodai Naraoka, 21-18. Uh, Chiu Chi coming back, coming back from 13-17 down in the second to win it 23-21. Now, the other match in this uh, Group A, Victor Axelson against Anthony Sinisuka Ginting is on the adjoining court. It's one game all in that match. And I can tell you the simple uh, scenario here. If Victor Axelson was to win against Ginting and if Kodai Naraoka was to win this deciding game, then Ginting and Victor would definitely go through. if Xi Yu Chi wins this deciding game uh, because and if Victor wins against Ginting it would obviously be by the margin of two games to one and then Xi Yu Chi, Ginting and Victor would all be on a game difference two wins apiece but the same game difference and then it would all come down to points oh that's a good defense again Brilliant start to this third game for Chiu Chi. And he's just continued his style of being the player who's attacking, working the rallies, working hard. And this is the thing for Narioka, if he's a fraction of a pace off, being the defensive player, being the player that's slightly more reactive, it's so difficult then because if he's half a step behind, the gap's bigger for Chiu Chi to into. fatigue or quite what happened there. This is the thing, sometimes in a traditional tournament, just because of the way it works, you might get a bit fortunate and in your first round, you might have a slightly shorter match or a slightly easier match, whereas obviously in front of us here, we've got four of the very best players in the world that have all played each other over the last few days. And this is their third match, and you can see already the fatigue starting to kick in. Xu Chi there was just a little bit slow to try and pick that up. Yeah, I thought the previous rally when I said he missed time that shot so, and questioned whether it was fatigue. And it wouldn't be a surprise, you know, we're 73 minutes in and we're only at the very, very beginning of the, the third and final game. Yeah.
that's well judged. You can see after every rally, the Chinese coach, he's doing everything he can to, you know, push his player, push Yu Chi, keep him motivated, keep him positive, keep him believing. Backhand cross court net shot there, Naraoka. Well, you know, the number one seeds in the men's singles over the years at the Super Series or World Tour Finals, as it's now become, number one seed in the men's singles has always tended to do pretty well. They've won eight of the last 15. I'd say definitely today, Xiu Chi has been, well, shown us all that his net play is very impressive and he's definitely been better than Narioka at the net today. I think Narioka, by my calculations, can't qualify for the semi-finals now, so we certainly won't have the number one seed winning Seven, this year. Four, six. I'm not sure I'm completely correct on that. Push that by. Out. Because if Kodai wins this match, he's won one, lost two. Xiu Chi would have won one and, and lost two. If Anthony Ginting beats Axelson, then Axelson will have won one yeah, and so lost two. Three of them will be joint. Exactly. Oh. That's all so close. Oh, he's got a neck cord again. How casual was that with his kill? Kodai Naraoka. made it look too easy very calm and relaxed on that kill well just to keep you right up to date what's happening on court number two victor axelson is leading anthony ginting 13 7 in the deciding game oh, that's a lovely smash This is definitely where the crowd makes a difference. The loudest have heard the crowd all week and they're really coming alive and helping their, their hero, Chi Yu Chi, try and battle through this. This is a real physical challenge. for Narioka when his speed does drop just a fraction with the style that he plays it's so tough to stay in the rally and contain the attack of Shiyu Chi
just wide. Sing Jun applauds his player. Long and Shi Chi has a six point advantage at the change of ends here in the third and deciding game. Wow, that was close, that was worth the challenge, wasn't it? Maybe we wouldn't, we didn't see that from the best angle. <laughs> Ha So 11-5 in this third and deciding game, so much riding on this qualification for the semi-final at stake, but it doesn't just matter what happens on this court, it also matters what happens on the adjoining courts, the two group A matches happening simultaneously. Up his pace. That's a nice shot. How is that possible? Unbelievable. Brilliant. Not a open left. Absolutely stranded. But Xi Yu Qi is also hurting. Both players bent double, gasping for air. This now is less of who's maybe a better player, but who can handle the situation, who can handle this physically and mentally better. Yeah. Nothing left in the legs of Naraoka there to push off. Eighty-four minutes into the match now. working that there's no gifts given and that there from Xi Chi was just a cheap error you want to take that belief away from your opponent the only way that they can get the point is if they win the point
missed it. That could be costly. Very sharp on that shot. Oh. Surprise, the umpire had to ask for the line judge to make a, a call on that. Of course, officially, they have to make a call every time, but it was so far in. I think I might have even got that one right. <laughs> It's just long. Feels like any time a player just starts to get that lead, the other one just crawls, crawls back. was anticipating the block to the net and whether Shi Uchi just instinctively knew he had to flick or whether he actually saw him with his peripheral vision it doesn't really matter it was a brilliant shot either way cheap point. That's one of those cheap points you were talking about, Chris. That's the thing, it's so important for both players to try and keep predicting, as we saw in Narioka, but obviously got it wrong, but it's so important they keep trying to predict because the push-off, the power, the explosiveness, it's drained from both of them. But they've got to find a way of getting to the shuttle early. Brilliant. Game and 17 13 down, she, she was. Yeah. And what a turnaround. is a brutal rally. He's missed it. I think he's asked for a asked for a challenge, but I think he's asked for a challenge to have a little have a short break. Yeah, I saw that as clearly wide, I have to say. Look at him. Look at him. There's any young players out there watching and thinking, why is my coach making me work so hard on the physical aspect? We're seeing here firsthand how, how important it is. Yeah, it's a major part of the game, the physical test. Well, just to bring you right up to date, Victor Axelson has beaten Anthony Ginting in three games, 21-13 in the deciding game. Uh, so both Victor Axelson and Anthony Ginting have won two matches. If Xiu Qi wins this, then he's won two matches too. It all comes down to points difference.
Well, this is a challenge. I did see that as out. Yeah, it was clearly out. Good challenge. No, it was challenge successful. So, Kodai Naraoka has still got two challenges left. Just that fraction slower onto the net shot. And Kodai Naraoka going for a very ambitious cross court backhand net shot. Chichi there, so tight, he got a net cord. And I mean, look at his body language. Chichi has got nothing left. Well, the home fans certainly hope he's got enough left to maybe finish out this deciding game. It is a five-point advantage, somebody else using a flashlight. In fact, it might not be a flashlight, it might be the fact that the court officials are yeah. coming on to court for the adjoining court number two. Seventeen twelve deciding game. Yeah, that was a nice drop from Naraoka. loves to extend the rallies as much as possible. He's the one who's uh, uh, fatigued the more of the two, I suspect. You can see the Chinese coach after each rally trying so hard to keep Xi Yuqi going, giving him the energy. where he was in so much trouble. The quality of his shot and then to finish the rally in that manner, incredible. Running on sheer guts and determination. Look at that. When you're
you've stretched, pulled or out of position, it's so hard to play a good quality shot. Two points away from a second win in Group A. And then we'll all have to get our calculators out. What are the points differences? Challenged. Now, I thought that did just clip the line. Yeah, I agree with you, Jill. I think it did. Crowd's making it very clear what they think. Ninety-six minutes gone. It did just clip the line. It is match point opportunities for former champion Chi Chi. in the deciding game against the number one seed, Kodai Naroka. What a match. A game and 13-17 down in the second. Chi Chi. Really gutsed it out. Never gave up. was a really gutsy performance. Remarkable match, wasn't it, Chris? Yeah, I mean, it's almost speechless. It had everything. It was just that point in the second, 17-13, I honestly wasn't sure. I just wasn't sure if Shiuchi had enough. What a comeback, what a comeback, what a match. We have had two incredible games so far if the next three continue. Yeah, it will be something special, but there is confirmation of how Shi Uchi uh, beat Kodai Naraoka. 18-21, 23-21, 21 in the deciding game in an hour and 38 minutes. So coming up next, we stay with men's singles and it's Jonathan Christie against Li Shifang. It's the battle of the Asian Games gold medalists.